and multiple reactions continue to come in from the opposition heating out of the remarks that have been made by Udunidhi Stalin. The fresh reaction that is coming in is coming in from the Shiv Sena Uddhav Balasaheb Thakre faction. Sanjay Rao, who in fact has gone on to say and hit out at Udunidhi Stalin's remarks and I'm quoting from what he has said. He's gone on to say that I've taken a look at the statement that has been put out by Udinidhi Stalin. Udinidhi Stalin is a minister and no one will support his statement and one should refrain from making such statements. Remember, this is not the first reaction that's coming in as far as the Uddha Balasaheb Thakre faction of the Shiv Sena is concerned. Even parties like TMC have come forward and condemned the remarks by Udinidhi Stalin. Sanjay Raut has also gone on to say this could be the DMK's views or his personal views. Around 90 crore Hindus live in this country and people of other religions also live in this country. Their religious sentiments cannot be heard. That's the word that's coming in from Sanjay Raut. Let's listen in to that reaction coming in. हमने हमने वो बयान को भी देखा है सुना है और जो लोग ये माहौल गर्माने जा रहे थे उनके भी बयान हमने सुने हैं मारन साहब बयान दया निधि स्टालिन साहब जो है मंत्री है और उनका बयान का कोई समर्थन नहीं करेगा इस प्रकार के जो बयान है उसे बचना चाहिए हम इंडिया के घटक दल है सब ये आपकी राय हो सकती है ये डीएम के की राय हो सकती है द्रविड़ संस्कृति की राय हो सकती है लेकिन इस देश में लगभग नब्बे करोड़ हिंदू रहते हैं उनकी आस्था है आप उनकी आस्था को ठेस नहीं पहुंचा सकते Let's also now bring in our colleague Vinaya who is joining us on the broadcast. Vinaya, good morning. Not the first time that you're seeing reactions coming in from the opposition bloc hitting out at Udinidhi Stalin. What's the word that's coming in as far as the Shiv Sena is concerned? Well, absolutely. We have seen that uh, though it has taken some time for the Uddhav Thakra faction of the Shiv Sena to react to this, it's a tightrope walk for them as well. So even after Sanjay Raut has said that the sentiments of Hindus should not be hurt and cannot be hurt, uh, but the editorial that has been carried in Samna, which is the mouthpiece of Shiv Sena Uddhav Thakra faction today, also tries to have that tightrope walk where it says that no religion is without its own flaws. Every religion in the world has its own flaws. And even when there have been fights against Sanatan Dharma by someone like Baba Sahib Ambedkar as well, it was the higher caste Hindus who had supported him tremendously through that. So, uh, may it be through quoting Savarkar, may it be through talking about uh, the several uh, troubles that Sanatan Dharma uh, faced with respect to the agitations that have been carried out in modern uh, history. It also talks about, uh, you know, the history of Dravida movement saying that uh, this is a particular ideological issue, but at the same time, Sanatan Dharma has remained and will stay, and the stated position of the Shiv Sena is, uh, continues to be that of Hindutva. Well, say, Kaho Ham Hindu hai is what uh, the editorial uh, states. So, the response has come in uh, a bit late, uh, days after Udayanidhi challenge remarks have come in. At the same time, there seems to be a tightrope walk because in this alliance of unlikely and unusual beds for those here in okay. the India block, it is difficult. Uh, it seems that uh, the stance of uh, Stalin is uh, to be justified. Yeah. So that cannot be justified as what Shiv Sena UPC says now. Back to you. Vinaya, we'll just request you to stay on with us. We also want to bring in our colleague Purnima Muli to try and understand what's going to be the position going forward as far as the DMK is concerned. Purnima, good morning. Now, with each passing hour, it looks like the DMK is being pushed in a corner. And the reason that I'm saying this is because more and more opposition voices are also now coming forward and realizing that this could backfire. The BJP is already using this as fodder. What's making the DMK still stick to its stance? Well, in fact, uh, the DMK and the party, uh, this is not the first time that they are uh, opposing Sanatana Dharma and the practices. They've been doing this uh, ever since DMK was founded, which is why the DMK sticks to its stance, continues to remain silent, and that's why Udin is silent time and again saying that he and the party believes in opposing Sanatana Dharma because every religion should be respected, but his words and statements uh, were taken out of context by the BJP. And adds that he should be the one filing cases against those who are spreading rumors but uh, uh, this is uh, this is uh, but uh, you know uh, he's ready to face it legally that's the word that's coming in from in fact uh, Udayanadi Salas and the DNK even as some of 
uh, their own uh, allies are, are distancing themselves from uh, making such comments and uh, some of them even opposing Udayanadi's statement. Uh, DMK sticks to its stance because that's what the party believes in. And looking at the history, they've made uh, many statements against Sanatana Dharma uh, in, in, over the decades, which is why DMK sticks to its stance despite facing uh, opposition from uh, certain national parties that uh, they are in uh, partnership with. Purnima, what is also now interesting is this fresh counter that seems to be coming from Udinidhi's talent. The DMK also realizing that the BJP is only going to mount their attack. The BJP has been asking for an apology. They've hit out at the HRNC minister as well. But now Udinidhi's talent saying that, in fact, I am the one who's become the victim here because there is a diversionary tactic and misquoting of facts happening by the BJP. Absolutely. Uh, this, uh, in fact, comes the day after Prime Minister had given an uh, uh, interview to Money Control talking about uh, how uh, there are various measures that the government has taken and how he's confident that people will vote in, in the party's favour. So this comes at a time when Udenadi Stalin once again saying that instead of uh, talking about promises that have not been fulfilled, BJP uh, is trying to use uh, the statement as a diversionary tactic and trying to mislead the people is the word coming in from Udenadi Stalin. But both uh, BJP and the DMK uh, both of them sticking to their stance and uh, politics over this is only escalating and uh, both sides are refusing to relent. Purnima and Vinaya, we'll have to leave that conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details.